Okay, you know. here we go. Bring me my water. We're ready to go. Five, four, four three, and. Hey, hey, we're back. We're back. We're more live from the Heartland. We're up here on the Heartland stage. We've rearranged the stage today, so for those of you who are listening, you don't get the vibe, but for those of you who are watching and will watch on either Can TV or YouTube.com slash Heartland Media, uh, you'll see a nice backdrop of the outdoor patio, which it's cold enough to be empty today. We have a street out there, and we do not have the sun shining into the camera. So uh, all we're of that, trying this all out today. All of that probably doesn't mean a lot to you, but... Um, it's oh, fun. Yes, it does. It's fun to be here. It's especially fun to be here with um, such good friends. There is a lot going on this weekend in our neighborhood, one of which we just covered, but tomorrow's the last of the outdoor markets, and today is the pumpkin fest for kids uh, up at uh, CMSA, the Chicago Math, Math and Science Academy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there's something else I was that supposed to mention. That is a charter school. Um... The pumpkin party at CMSA, oh, grass p planting. There's uh, there's uh, the uh, anti-erosion grass planting happening over at the beach today. Um, and uh, everybody who took part in that last year sees how good it happened, how, how well it took hold. And uh, it's something that will keep us from having hurricanes roll up on Rogers Park. We'll be the place that has the beans and rice when the rest of the city has a typhoon or whatever. Anyway, I'll I talk didn't about. I get that, Kate. I'm so sorry. What are you rambling on about? Hey, we can edit some of this, you know. Yeah, I know. We okay. should. The Bioneers Conference is coming to Chicago next weekend. Bioneers, Great Lakes Bioneers. You want to be there, check it out. It's online. Great Lakes Bioneers. How many of you people in the audience came because you got a notice that this was happening? Mm. Not one? Nope. <laughs> There's two. There's, There's three, two. four, five. There's another person in the back. Yeah, Suzanne is There's a regular. There's a usual group here. Everybody else came for breakfast, Michael. That's good. Well, that's, that's what we're known for. For those of you who are <laughs> in the room for the first time during the Live from the Heartland show, we do this every Saturday morning. From and, 9 to 10. And not only do we have people like uh, Corky Siegel come on the show, we did have Barack Obama, we had Studs Terkel, and we've had a lot of wonderful folks. Lundi so Pratt. we had Mike Klonsky, too, and his brother's coming up in a few minutes. But right now we got one of our pals, Corky Siegel. He's been coming to the Heartland since it opened. and Yay, um, our neighbor. I remember seeing Corky back in the spring of 1966 in Lincoln Park was the first time I saw him, along with... Uh, you know, the, I think a whole Siegel Swall bland, band. I might as well bland, ask. Not a bland, but a I might a as well ask, because you were going to say it anyway. Were you, were you in an altered state of mind, Michael? <laughs> I doubt it that time in my life. There was, like, a lot of paranoia about doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, somebody else in the audience was. And I, I, first I still probably was drinking slow gin fizz shots at underage down I'm in New York State. I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> yeah, I'm, so, I'm sure you are. <laughs> Corky, I hey, saw Corky, you. I, I saw you from the side of the the <laughs> wings of the stage at Mundelein's Auditorium oh. when I was a Mundelein student. I just basically snuck in the side door and just danced my butt off to you guys. Wow! From then on, shaking like really. a duck. You were the one. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> so, what's it like being a senior citizen now? Hey, hey, hey! I think you could answer that much better than I can. <laughs> it's, it's, All right. it's glorious. <laughs> It's, it's glorious. I, I, and I took my sandals off and I'm wearing shoes. I got an extra inch of height. It's, I'm, I'm like growing taller in my old age. Well, the, the senior citizen thing. At, at the age of 70, something happens. All of a sudden, you become history in two different ways. One way is, ah, he's just history. <laughs> and the other way is, he's history. <laughs> well, you certainly are history. And, uh, you know, you've, uh, That's good. you've taken Chicago to lots of places around the world, uh, sharing the, the music that you, uh, you know, you have developed and experienced here. You know, you've been a guest on this show a number of times, and most recently you were here talking about... Uh, you know, the kind of the blues reunion revival. What was the name of the film? Uh, Born in Chicago. Born, Born in Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. And was how is that doing, that film? Well, I think they're just waiting and looking at the offers that are coming in and, you know. Will it be, will it be um, available because it was made this year? We might hear about it at the Academy Awards. 
Well, I'll tell you. As one of the do- documentary or... Yeah, I actually have no idea. How that works? What, yeah, uh-huh. it, it's really being run sort of in Hollywood and <laughs> Where those places. guys are. <laughs> yeah, you know, with, with the lawyers and the... Uh, Surgeons, you uh-huh. know, <laughs> editors, <laughs> <Surgeons>. you know. <laughs> uh huh. So it might so. be in a different format. Uh, form no, I at think some it's point. gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna maintain. be the way it is. But the, um, you know, there's a few theaters here and there that get to show it, but they're being very, very stingy about where it's shown wow. and by who, until they find out what the the, what the, the deal final is. deal is going to be with theaters and distributors and etc. Uh, that whole realm, I. Corky, yeah. what do you got on your plate? You know, you uh, you do revival kind of things, and sometimes bring back people who played with you. I know we had Sam Lay here recently, and uh, that was but wonderful. You, you also, uh, you know, play with you, the Corky's Chamber Blues, yep. and uh, you mix the classical and the blues, which uh, has gotten a lot of notoriety for you. What are your what are, what's coming up for you? What special events? Well, actually. There's one special event coming up. It's November 3rd. That would be a Sunday. Sunday. Very good. Very good. 7 p.m. at the winery. Oh, where I was there. My, I have a kid who just played over there. Yeah. We're ch- oh, yeah. One of your... Yeah, yeah. It's a cool place. Really great place. So, um, Chamber Blues is playing there. It's, it's 7 p.m. and uh, with a guest artist, Matthew Santos, who won two Grammy nominations sang with uh, Lupe Fiasco, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. superstar. He was a singer on that. Right, right. And he's an amazing songwriter, and I was Matthew, so inspired. Matthew what? What? What's Matthew's last name? Santos. 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 Yeah. And I was so inspired, I wrote four arrangements for four of his songs. Really? And, you know, we're going to be doing them there at the winery. And, you know, the thing that I like explaining about chamber blues yeah. is you could hear a lot of millions of great blues bands anywhere all over the world anytime you could hear a lot of great blues bands you could hear a lot of great chamber groups Mm -hmm. classical groups all over the world but what sort of dawned on me is if maybe you can answer this how many chamber blues groups Hmm. Only yours, baby. Juxtapose. You, you are the only one <laughs> I you're know. It, you're it. And so, as I say, it's dirty work, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> okay, speaking you of dirty it, work, dude. let's get these harmonicas out. Okay. <laughs> let's have a little bit of. Oh, my uh, goodness. I actually, uh, just by accident, I threw my harmonica in my pocket. You have so Kate, much. And you Katie have the made nerve sure. Of she us. told me, she says, make sure you don't pull it out. I said, don't worry, I won't. Oh, he brought his harmonica. That's too bad. <laughs> Just touch it. <laughs> All right. If this harmonica has been touched by Corky TV. So, uh, you know, normally my career has been, you know, writing songs and playing them. And I've, I've never been really good about learning actual blues songs. <laughs> you know, I was there, you know, at Peppers with Wolf and Muddy and all those guys. And in fact, you didn't have to learn. You just go, yeah. oh, I got the beat? Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> so he comes, So this guy comes up and, and wants to sit in, and he was really drinking a lot, and I said, well, maybe some other time. And then the people in the audience says, hey, man, that's little Walter. Uh-huh. And I said, who's little Walter? You know, so eventually, oh, you want me to use this? If you want. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. So, um, so finally he sat in. It was quite amazing. and uh, Juke. Little yeah, Walter, juke. yeah, juke. Not too long ago, someone said, "You know, come and join us, and we want you to do a couple little Walter tunes." And I went, "Wow, I never learned a little Walter tune." So, <laughs> so here's one I'm working on that actually was also uh, covered by Paul Butterfield, one of our favorite uh, harmonica players. Yeah, and, and little Walter also do. Uh, I run through the jungle, fight lions with a switch. Anyhow. I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. I never really... <laughs> Once again, he didn't learn the songs, okay? Right, exactly. Certainly not the words of them. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, here's what I'm, I'm working on, and in, in, uh, this is... Uh, um, it's called Blues with a Feeling, which I just heard you guys play a little while ago. Oh, on, that's... Was by being, you or Butterfield? Th- it was... a. Uh, Played, there was some woman singer, maybe Coco oh. Taylor or something. Because like I hear it over and over at the Y because it's on my uh, iPhone when yeah. I'm on the machines. <laughs> so the problem, the challenge I have with this song is it's called Blues with a Feeling, and you got to do it with a feeling. That, that too. That's the problem, so I'm working on that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. 
Gorky Siegel. with a feeling that's what I have today <laughs> blues with a feeling that's what I have today I gotta find my babe If it takes all night and day With a lonesome feeling when you're by yourself <laughs> With a lonesome feeling <laughs> When you're by yourself <laughs> And the one you love in gone away and left You know I love you, baby. I just can't help myself. When you're driving me crazy, baby, loving somebody else. Blues with a feeling. That's what I have today. I gotta find my baby If it takes all night and day
Nice, Courtney, nice. Wow. Courtney Siegel, Rogers Park. Mr. Rogers Park. Mr. Rogers Park. To you. Dang, man. And the, the, uh, the emblematic bow of the harp. Um, <laughs> I love that, too, that you, uh, your harp takes a bow. Man, uh, the breath thing. I'm sitting here this close to you, and you're playing, and you're singing, and then you're playing without stop. And where do you breathe? And when do you breathe? I'm not sure. I haven't figured that out. Ah. <laughs> I mean, but I know both in and out are very important. Indeed. Someone and asked me, "What do you like better? Hallelujah. What do you like better, blues or classical?" And I say, "What do you prefer, breathing in or breathing out?" <laughs> when, ah. when did you first uh, pick up a harmonica, Wise guy. Corky? And was it a honer or was it a plastic <laughs> one? What was it? Yeah, there, it was a honer, and I, I think I, I, I got it for Hanukkah, and it was probably 25 cents. The prices have gone up on that. They've gone yeah. up a little bit. Is uh, Honor still the uh, the brand? For me? Yeah. I mean, there's other great brands, but I, I use a Honor. Let me ask you, uh, when you uh, put out albums these days, uh, what label are you going on? Do you do your own? You do, uh, are you, who, who do you record for? Well, you know, I started uh, the first... What was oh Vanguard was my first Vanguard, label. Vanguard, very good. And I did many records on Vanguard, and then RCA, and then a couple records on Deutsche Grammophon, was the exclusively classical. You were kind of a snobby guy at yeah, that snobby, moment. Yeah, snobby. San Francisco yeah. Symphony and so. Oh, that you're one moment. And of uh, Alligator Records, Alligator, Alligator Records, neighborhood. Done right a on. lot of records for Alligator. Right on. Varese Saraband, uh, just ma many, many labels all over the place. So far, I have never released a record without a record company. <laughs> I, I've never released like my own. Uh huh. You know, I've always. Well, been we we uh, predate that that whole. Yeah. Yeah thing that that his kids are all about and that's wonderful yeah. that they do that and it's wonderful that you know the joys of having support of a big company behind you got it um you are about to um you're going to do two big shows coming up let's talk about them before we forget to we yeah. gotta talk about the winery well the city the winery, winery november again, 3rd is november 3rd and then uh you also have something oh it's going to get sold out so we should I probably shouldn't say anything about it yeah siegel schwall siegel schwall is having their november reunion 23rd show november 23rd at the uh, skokie uh, um at the what is it north called north shore center. center north shore center Eight yeah one. anyway we're getting uh i you know Corky wouldn't be Corky without Holly, so I'd like to yeah, have a Corky hand can't read for the Holly. Teleprompter. <laughs> what are you trying to tell him, Holly? <laughs> Holly Siegel, one of our this great. This is really neighbors. his better half. And November third is also going to be with special guest Ma Matthew Santos. Oh yes, we did cover that. We did talk about that. Yeah, we covered that. We sweetheart. covered that. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's Holly, perfect. that's the first time Holly's been on the show. Get a good I, picture I of her. I love that. I love that. That she was telling us something that he did, and then he was like, okay, well, I we, did that. Uh, Very good. Corky, as usual, you know, we are only got an hour. We're going to run out of time. we got uh, a really important guest coming up. So let's, uh, how about giving us a little tune on your way out as we get Fred Klonsky up on the way up. And uh, we're so glad that you've joined the ranks of the 70 and overs. Yeah, congratulations. And, uh, you know, we're, it's a strong band it's a, of people. It's, it's a, a good growing bunch. body. <laughs> and they're going to have a big impact on this nation, all you young people. That's right. We're going to help you out because the struggles are yet to come. Because we're going to live on Social are Security. Oh, dang it. All right, let's hear it for Corky Siegel. Big round of applause. And Fred Clancy, come on up. knows how to inhale and exhale. Oh my lord. Thank you so much, Corky Siegel. Absolutely. We look forward to the show.
City Winery, okay. November 3rd. We're not going to take another musical break because that was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.